Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's put everything into practice that we've learned so far about thick lenses. Here what we've been asked to do, given that the distance from the object to the lens is 30 centimeters, the radius of the front side is 20 centimeters, the radius of the back side, since it's bulging outward, is minus 40 centimeters, the thickness of the lens is 1 centimeter, and the index of refraction of the lens material is 1.5. Assuming the lens is, is in air, the index of refraction of the air, of course, is 1. We're asked to find the distance to the image, the image distance, but this is for a thick lens. So what they're asking for, they're asking for the distance from the image to the back principal plane, to the back principal point. So let's write this as H2, this is H1. So it's distance is right here. And that makes it a little bit more complicated because how do we find that distance? Well, to find that distance, we're going to need, first of all, S prime, that's the distance from the image to the lens, and then we have to add H2 to that to find that distance, to find the total distance from the image to the back principal plane. So what we're going to do first, because we can't find what H1 and H2 are until we know what the focal length is, so we first have to use the lens maker's equation for the thick lens to find the focal length. All right, let's do that first. Coming up here, to find the focal length, we have 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over 20 minus 1 over a minus 40. Notice that these two negatives will cancel each other out. Then we have plus 1.5 minus 1 times the thickness of the lens 1 divided by 1.5 times 20 and times a minus 40. Again, make sure you put the negative there when it's needed. First of all, we're going to figure out what this is equal to. So we have 0.5 divided by 1200. All right, put a negative in front because a negative over here. Add that to a 1 over 40 plus 1 divided by 40. And then add that to 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by 20. Now we have it all added together. Oh, now we have to multiply times 0.5 times 0.5 and then take the inverse of that and we have 26.82 centimeters. So the focal length is equal to 26.82 centimeters. Now that we have the focal length, we can find the distance from the back of the lens to the principal point right here, from the front lens to the principal point over there. All right, so let's find H1 and H2. H1 is equal to now that we have the focal length, it's minus 26.82. Multiply times 1.5 minus 1. Multiply times 1. Divided by, that would be R2, which is a minus 40, times N, which is 1.5. So we have that 26.82, multiply times 0.5, and divide by 60. And that gives me 0 0.22, 0 0.22, and it's a positive 0 0.22 centimeters. All right, now for H2. So we get the same number, minus 26.82 times 1.5 minus 1 times 1. So the numerator is exactly the same. The denominator, notice, is a positive 20, and the denominator times 1.5. So dividing by 20 instead of 40 makes it twice as large, and... The negative sign will remain because this is positive, so this becomes a minus 0 0.44 centimeters. Now that we have the, the distances, H1 and H2, which are the distances from the principal points to the vertices, we're now ready to find the answer, S sub i. Know that S sub i is equal to S sub o times the focal length divided by S sub o minus the focal length. Now notice we have, what do we have so far? Hmm, well we have S, but we don't have S sub O. We can find S sub O by taking S sub O is equal to S plus H1, and so that is equal to 30 centimeters, 
plus H1, which is 0.22 centimeters, which means that this is equal to 30.22 centimeters. So here we have the distance S sub O, which we, of course, cannot physically measure. If we put a thick lens there, we put an object there, we can only measure the distance from the object to the lens. Since we need to know S sub O to find S sub I, we're going to have to add the distance from the front vertex to the front principal point in order to find S sub O. We do know F, we got that from the lens maker's equation, so we're now ready to find S sub I. So this is equal to S sub O, which is 30.22 multiply times 26.82 and divided by S sub O, which is 30.22 minus 26.82. Let me get out of your way so you can take a look at those numbers. Now all we need is a calculator. 30.22 times 26.82, that's the numerator, divided by 30.22 minus 26.82. And that gives us a distance of 238 point to one decimal place, 4 centimeters. So that's the distance to the image, the distance from the principal point to the image, not the distance from the lens to the image. To find the distance from the lens to the image, we would have to take this distance and subtract from that H2, so subtract another 0.4, so the distance between the image and the lens is actually 238 centimeters, but the distance from the image to the principal point, the back principal point, is 238.4 centimeters. So that's how we have to deal with finding objects and images using thick lenses. That's how it's done.